Cambridge has some real issues with congestion and we're looking at how we can improve the public transport system and we're looking at future technology so obviously autonomy could help us to address congestion and help people get on public transport. So um, about seven or eight years ago we started talking to some of the kind of early uh, people involved in autonomy. Since then we've been involved in CAV2, so we looked at potentially a link from the uh, Genome Campus, the Wellcome Trust Campus, into a railway station. From that work we then did a CAV3 project where we ran an autonomous shuttle from Mattingly Park and Ride into the West Cambridge Campus, which is a university campus, in mixed traffic. And now the next project is a logical extension of that where we can scale up into a bigger area of the city and really begin to experiment with the technology. We're looking to develop a world-class transport system and we really see that autonomous vehicles can play a part in that. And that will improve the passenger journey, it'll improve the quality of life for residents of Cambridge. So that's what we're really looking at. But I think what's really in interesting for, um, for companies and actually the sector itself is that this will demonstrate the commercial case and help move the, um, the, the sector along to the road's commerciality and actual deployments in the real world. Without the funding, we wouldn't be able to do projects like this. I think you know they are generally quite risky and as a local authority, we are quite risk averse. So this allows us to work with industry and really spend time to understand how the technology can help us deliver on our aims and objectives and how it can be deployed in real world environments. And also I think for us, because we're involved in it, it helps us de-risk it, it helps us understand what the benefits are and we can then work with industry to make sure that you know, what they deploy really help the city to achieve what it wants to achieve. I think it's incredibly exciting. So initially having vehicles running around, um, the visibility of autonomous vehicles within the city, getting people using it so that actually eventually these vehicles will just become something that uh, pulls up every day. No one thinks that they're autonomous, they just get on and use them. Um, and that's kind of where we want to get to. So really exciting that they're in the city. I think the most exciting thing though will be if we can make the commercial case and they're actually deployed as part of the public transport system and people are using them every day.